I just bought the most redneck truck that you could ever own. <laughs> Coming zone 101. You might be wondering what makes these trucks the most redneck trucks. I'm about to go through that list for you. I'm gonna have to do all the teenager redneck crap that's not been done to it yet. You just wait. First off, you still got the muffler and the cat on it. Got the last year pack because she's ready to go. <laughs> Push side exhaust did not work out that well. Got hung up on the drive shaft when we turned in from the road. Don't think this upgrade is staying. Second thing, we're gonna pop that silencer ring off because if you ask any Cummins owner, they know all about taking that silencer ring off. Hold that for me. Right there to the turbo. This is basically the silencer ring right here. All you need is a screwdriver. I carry three right here. These came with the truck. My three knives and yours truly, the Cummins belt buckle. These did not, I got these down at Walmart's. Yeah, this is what freedom sounds like. Damn! <laughs> oh, man! All 30 miles an hour. <laughs> God. There's my grandparents' house. He is so proud of his grandson. Dude, this turbo actually sounds f***ing awesome. Oh, God, yeah. See these mirrors behind me? Even though they got a seat for Cummins on them. You can't sit like this. You gotta always have them flipped out. Hey, what am I towing? Oh, nothing. Just this big ego I got. <laughs> Next thing you need on your Dodge Cummins, make sure everybody knows it's Cummins. It's gotta be perfect. Yeah, baby. And as you'll notice, when you become a second gen owner, your voice starts doing this thing. It's gonna go from normal to something like this. All right, attention. Because these things, they leak a little bit of oil. Anytime I'm gonna clean underneath this truck, okay, you can't brake clean. Second thing, also known as some city slickers, is cardboard. My rig neck creeper. Baby, look at that. Are you done? Yep, just finishing up. I think that's good. I don't think I got too dirty. A little bit on my hands. <laughs> All right, next we're gonna move on to the interior of these trucks. It is looking beautiful. We need to okay. All right, we're gonna start our first interior with the dash. Look at this job I did, Chip. Yep, it is. I can fix this whole dash with a little thing I like to call flexible plastic. Sometimes known to city folks as duct tape. God yeah. Look at that boy. Paint match. Oh, we doggy. It is a new dash. I kind of take this and I kind of just stick it right there. Extra plastic, extra plastic. As for AC in this truck, it's got 260 AC. It's two windows, 60 miles an hour. That's how I do my mullet. The headliner in this thing looks good. All good things got a little sag in them, you know what I'm saying? Where the hell did I put my backer? Oh shoot, keep it in my good hind spot. So the old lady don't find out. Best thing about having one of the most redneck trucks in the world, second gen Cummins, that you can come down to the local junkyard and get any part that you need. Look at this. Got us new fresh tailgate shed and the other one's rusting out. Before we give this tailgate away to one of my lucky fans out there, I'm gonna sign my name on it. It's the Joel G24V Special Edition Dodge Cummins tailgate. One of you couple hundred viewers will be lucky enough to get it, son. How much do you think they charge for that sticker? Buttholes and buttholes, baby. Wee dog. Normally these trucks are the most redneck trucks you can get. Now I like my truck all stock. It's a work truck. You can get it dirty, can beat on it. You can make them look nice. Check this out. It's got as much money in them damn wheels as it does the whole truck. Have you ever seen a truck that comes with a can crusher? It's perfect every time. God yes. I think I whipped it a little too hard and hit that tree. If you are not convinced that this is the most redneck truck that you can ever own, I got something for you. Now, this truck also doubles as a redneck swimming pool. So we're gonna go ahead and fill this baby up with some water. We're gonna let this sit for about two days. Damn, she's leaking like a motherfucker. How we got a hole? It's layered up like three times. Our next thing you need is the pool jets. Woo, she cold. All right. Redneck pool got me.
Usually when I get done with my empties, I just toss them in the bed. Yep. Usually by the end of the weekend, I got a discard of all my cans. having problems with your bush light exhaust not wanting to secure check out my website get you a new bush light exhaust hanger right here bend it you, you customize it however you want to shin the steering wheel cover is unacceptable for having a second gen coming oh, i'm kind of upset at myself for accidentally doing that i thought the steering wheel cover was thicker yeah i usually keep on tap a couple cold ones hey, doggy. oh shit yeah, we got us a problem i kind of finished off the glove box with my cooler idea but you know it does still keep them cold that's the first time i've ever said hell yeah brother usually <laughs> <laughs> oh. <laughs> i get done with my empties i just toss them in the back of the truck yikes okay all right <laughs> 